In this video, we will take a look at the slide of the stomach, especially the uh, body and the uh, fundus uh, region. The slide is stained with hematoxin alazine, uh, that means the uh, nuclei of cells are purple and the cytoplasm is pink. The stomach uh, wall exhibits four general layers mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa, and serosa. Uh, the mucosa consists of, uh, um, of the surface epithelium, uh, the lamina propria, and muscularis mucosa. Uh, the surface is lined uh, uh, with uh, uh, simple columnar epithelium here, uh, one layer of columnar epithelium, and uh, uh, that extends into and uh, lines the gastric pates. So here, the gastric pates, and. Uh, this epithelium, simple columnar epithelium, uh, aligned uh, the surface of the uh, stomach and gastric pits. Uh, the gastric pits, is, uh, which are, um, are tubular enfoldings uh, of the surface epithelium. Bending the epithelium is the lamina propria. Uh, this is loose connective tissue that fills the space between gastric glands. Gastric glands are here in the lamina propria. And uh, very thin uh, layer of muscularis mucosa here. It's the last uh, layer of uh, mucosa. Uh, this is the uh, outer border of the mucosa. And uh, very thin uh, strands of smooth muscle form uh, the muscularis mucosa extend into uh, lamina propria. For example, here is nice visible. This is um, strands of smooth muscle from uh, muscularis mucosa extend into lamina propria between the gastric glands toward the uh, surface epithelium. So now we uh, look at closely into gastric pates, the gastric uh, glands, sorry. Uh, the gastric glands are uh, packed in the lamina propria and open uh, uh, into the bottom of gastric uh, pits. Uh, two distinct cell types uh, can be identified in the gastric glands. The first is um, um, acidophilic parietal cells, it's a very big, uh, big cells here. Also here. Light uh, cytoplasm around nuclei. Also here, the parietal cells. The parietal cells produce uh, hydrochloric acid. And the second uh, cells uh, are uh, chief uh, cells or uh, zymogenic cells uh, uh, which occupy the lower region of uh, uh, these glands. For example here it's a cluster of uh, sheaf cells also here and here it's another cluster of chief cells Uh, the chief cells are filled with uh, granules that contain uh, the proenzyme pepsinogen. This is an uh, inactive precursor of uh, pepsin. The 
pepsinogen transform uh, to pepsine, pepsine uh, uh, because of uh, acidic uh, environmental uh, in, in stomach. So, and, um, this is the mucosa, uh, mucosa and submucosa uh, uh, of empty stomach exhibits uh, temporary folds called uh, rugae, uh, you can see here, this is uh, rugae. Uh, as uh, the stomach fills, uh, the rugae uh, disappear and form the smooth, uh, smooth mucosa. Uh, sometimes uh, you can see in the uh, mucosa uh, lymphatic uh, follicles, for example, here, and here, and here. Uh, this submucosa lies uh, inferior uh, to muscularis mucosa. The submucosa contains uh, loose connective tissue here. Uh, in addition, the submucosa contains uh, lymph vessels, uh, large uh, blood vessels, uh, uh, isolated uh, clusters uh, of uh, parasympathetic ganglia and uh, uh, of submucosal uh, mesh ner nerve flexus, uh, for example, uh, here, sorry, uh, here, uh, deeper in the submucosa, it's a nerve uh, fibers, or big blood vessels, but many uh, loose connective tissue. Uh, the muscularis externa, for example, here, uh, um, consists of uh, three layers of smooth muscle, each orientated in a different uh, direction and on inner oblique, uh, oblique and middle circular and outer longitudinal layer. Uh, the oblique layer is not complete and uh, it's not always seen in the sections of the stomach wall. Uh, located to between the circular, this is here, and a longitudinal smooth muscle layer uh, is a meantericus uh, arubach nerve plexus of parasympathetic ganglia and their fibers. For example, here. This, uh, between the uh, layers of uh, muscular is external, it's a uh, mentericus arubach nerve here. Uh, the serosa consists of thin layer of connective tissue here and is covered by a simple squamous uh, mesothelium uh, of the visceral peri uh, peritoneum. So, this is the wall of uh, the stomach with uh, mucosa here, submucosa, muscularis externa, and serosa. In uh, mucosa, uh, we can see a covering epithelium, a simple columnar epithelium which lines the surface and uh, gastric pits here. In lamina propria, uh, there, is, uh, there are a, a, a gastric uh, glands uh, with uh, two types of uh, cells, uh, bigger, lighter parietal, uh, parietal cells and uh, smaller, darker chief cells and thin layer of uh, muscularis mucosa. In submucosa you can see uh, big uh, ves blood vessels, uh, many uh, collagen fibers and fibroblasts and uh, 
sometimes it's visible uh, mentary so uh, submucosal uh, nerve fibers, mace nerve fibers, and uh, so muscularis externa contains uh, three or two layers of uh, smooth muscle uh, cells, and between uh, the circular layer and longitudinal layer, you can observe. Uh, Mentaric or uh, nerve plexus, for example, here. Last layer is a serosa, with, uh, which is a thin layer of smooth uh, loose connective tissue and uh, one layer of uh, squamous mesothelium. So, thank you very much for your attention.